In this video, we will learn about structure or surface of an Excel file. As of now, the title or the name of this workbook is Book 1. That means if you open any Excel file, by default it will show Book 1. But if you try to save this with some other name, then that name appears here. For example, I am trying to learn this Excel file by giving the name called Lesson 1. Go to File, Save As. So I'm just giving the path desktop and just click on save button. Now it's showing this lesson one here, right? At the extreme rate, I have this cross with which would close this workbook. For example, I'm trying to close this. It's closed, right? Again, I'm just trying to open. And next to that, I have the options to restore down. If I click on this, this would reduce the size of this window. If I click it again, it will go back to the original size. And after that, we can see one minimize option, right? That means if I click on this, this workbook will minimize. I'm just trying to click this. See, it get minimized, right? I'm just expanding again. And coming to the fourth options. Here is an options where you get more flexibility how you, the tabs and ribbons are shown. Before that, I just want to explain you about the tabs and ribbons. What do you mean tabs or ribbons? The tabs, in a sense, you can see the list of options on the top right the file home insert page layout formulas data review view help power pivot right these are the tabs by default which pop up in excel version 2019 under each tab you can see the list of tools right and this panel is called ribbons okay so coming back to these options so in case if you want to auto hide the ribbons just click on it see and completely ribbon has been hidden right so i'm trying to click on the same option and I just want to show those tools again. Just click on this, show tabs and commands. See, automatically it will appear, right? On the extreme left, you have the quick access toolbar. So this area also called QAT section, where you can see three options, save as, undo, and re undo. The save as means that this particular workbook, in case if you want to save in some other file or folder, you can click on this. The purpose of undo and re undo, I'll explain you in upcoming topics. Now the quick access toolbar as the name suggests gives you very quick access to a lot of options. So you can easily perform certain operation or a use a feature by clicking on it here. I will show you the later in this video on how to customize this quick access toolbar. As I mentioned previously, these are list of tabs, right? If you look at this file tab, I'm just click on it. You would see the backstage view of Excel where you get lot of options like new, open, information, save, save as, history, print, share, etc, etc. From this backstage, in case if you go back to same work area, either you just click on this left arrow button or else you can click on the escape button on the keyboard. In fact, these features of tabs and ribbons was introduced in Excel 2007 version. This was a major enhancement because it makes really easy for a user to access these commands. If you go to the home tab, you can see there are group of options. Here I have the clipboard group where there are four icons that would do things related to the clipboard. Similarly, I have the phone group where all these options would put into the phone features in Excel. Similarly, I have alignment, number, style, cell, editing, etc. etc. And if you click on insert tab, you have all these options that are related to insert. And within that, you'd have these groups such as tables, add scene, charts, tools, sparklines, filters, links, etc. etc. And you can see that these groups are divided by vertical line. See? Right? And below this ribbon, we have the name box. In the name box, you would see the address of the current selected cell. That means A1. For example, if I go and select this cell, you would see the address of the cell, which is F3, right? F is the column and third one is a row. And if I click on this, H1, right? H is the column, one is a row, right? And there are a lot more things you can do using the name box, which I would cover in our upcoming lessons. On the right of the name box, we have the formula bar. In the formula bar, you can either type something. So for example, I'm just typing, let's learn Excel. I'm just trying to enter it. Now you can see that the whatever I type in the formula bar get inserted in the cell that is selected. That is an H1, right? At the same time, if I try to type in the column M3, 
for example excel is best the same content you can able to see in the formula bar as well see right in case if you want to edit this sentence just select this cell after that you can edit this formula directly for example instead of best i'm putting awesome just entering it below the formula bar we have this area which is called the work area or spreadsheet area this is made up of n number of columns and rows i have column this like a b c d e f and so on and you have lots column up to xft see here right if you are wondering how i went to the end of this sheet i used keyboard shortcut control right arrow and you can come back by using control left arrow as well so for example i just want to go back to column a so i'm just clicking control left arrow similarly we have lots of rows here for example if i go down i can see that there are one two three four five six and so on right and we have more than one million rows in excel 2019 if i click on keyboard shortcut key shift control down arrow you can see that one almost 10 lakh 40 thousand 576 rows we have in excel 2019 version right and i'm going back to row number one same way shift control apparel so this would constitute the work area where you would probably spend most of your time because this holds the data in excel and this is made up different cells now each cells you would have unique address for example if i select this cell this would be column i row number nine so this cell address will become i9 right as i said just before and the same address you can visible in the name box as well Below this work area, we have this gray strip where you would see the sheets in Excel. By default, it will show one sheet in Excel. And again, it depends upon your version. If you are using old version like 2010 or 13, by default, it will show three worksheets. And if you want to add one more worksheet, just click on this plus button. See, sheet two. And again, if I click on this, sheet three. So what do you mean by worksheet and workbook? So workbook, in a sense, the entire Excel file. An Excel file or workbook contain n number of worksheets and this would get added here. The similarly how you added the worksheet same way you can edit or delete as well. For example, if you want to delete this sheet 3, just select this sheet 3 and right click on your mouse, you can see delete, just deleting it, it's gone. And again, if you want to rename this worksheet, for example, the sheet 1, I just want to rename it as my learning, just double click on this and directly you can type my learning see right and you can convert this worksheet to the pages in your paper or notebook and i'm just trying to rename this worksheet like a b c and in between i feel that i don't like this name for some reason so you can just hit on your escape button in your keyboard just trying to click so it will back to she too that's the workbook old name right so if you have lots worksheets, say for example, 20, 30, like I'm just trying to add here. Okay. Now you can able to see the worksheet till sheet 10, right? Or 11 maximum. If I click on this again, it will go 12. In case if you have lots of worksheet here, if you want to navigate the respective sheet, you can use this arrow key. For example, you have the right click button. You can use this two arrow key. If I click on this right arrow, see, you can see the 12 and 13, right? If I click it again, 14, right? And click it again, 15, right? And same way, if you want to reverse this, just click on this, see? Okay. On the right side, I have this horizontal scroll bar that can be used for navigating Excel columns, see? Similarly, I have the vertical scroll bar that can be used for navigating the rows, see? Okay. Also, I want to show you something. For example, example, I just trying to insert some data here. One, two, three. And now you start looking at this area. Okay. So after that, I'm just trying to select this respective values of data which I inserted. I'm just trying to select completely. And as soon as I select this data, this give me some statistics such as average, count, numerical count, minimum, maximum, some sum and all, right? That means one, two, three, total six. And this count average is 2 and total count is 3 right 3 rows here minimum value is 1 maximum 3 right and if I right click from here you can see the list of other statistical functions so based on your 
requirement you can select and unselect here so i will cover up this in our upcoming lessons and next to that here you can see three options normal page layout and page break view this normal view if i click on this this is actually page layout which related to printing in case if you want to print some data before that you just want to set up the page layout or not at that time you can use this option and next to that if i click on this page break preview just want to preview that the data which you inserted prior to the printing okay so i'm just click on this normal button only and also you have this option to zoom in and zoom out see by default it will show the 100 percentage at maximum you can go up to 400 percentage and minimum and you can go up to 10 percentage on the lower side as well so i'm just make it as 100 percentage only so these are all components excel 2019 which you would see the when you open in workbook now hope all of you clear this topic let's move to the next lesson